so in this video we will learn about a new component it's called accentsheet ios it basically the similar to the native component of accentsheet in ios uh, accentsheet are basically the group of buttons that you uh, get when you use uh, ios device let me just show you here is an example this kind of uh, set of buttons is called action sheet the red one over here is called destructive button uh, the one which uh, always have like uh, options like delete remove or resets uh, like that and and as you can see uh, uh, here there are two groups the first group has two buttons and the last one is cancel so the last one this one is called cancel button index so uh, we we need to provide the index for this button so that the ios device uh, will come to know that this button is separate from the group so let us just create a react native project and open it on visual studio code and I already opened the iOS simulator and keep keep that in mind that you need an iOS simulator to test this app because it's uh, it is only available on iOS devices first of all let me just import all the necessary component view text button and the most important accentuate iOS We'll be creating a small app. We will uh, generate a random number between 0 to 1, 0 to 100. And uh, whenever we press on the uh, uh, whenever we press on the action sheet button, it will open the action sheet and we have basically three options. Generate a number, reset, which will be destructive and the cancel which will be um, uh, which will be indexed to cancel button let me just uh, create a state to hold that uh, a random number let's say result set result use state let's say random number okay let me just create a function on press on press we will provide action sheet ios dot so action sheet ios with options Here we provide all the options that we need to display on the action sheet. We can create uh, multiple buttons. Let's say the first one will be cancel. Second will be generate number and third one let's say reset to reset.
okay we need to enclose this in curly braces okay now the destructive button index the destructive button index will be this one preset so 0 1 and 2 so the index number will be 2 because the destructive button will be in red tint color and cancel button index it will be this one cancel so index will be 0 and this will be separate from the group then we can provide user interface style either light or dark let's say dark if you do not provide this it will be based on the system you can also provide title uh, let's say generate number you can also provide message it will be displayed under the title generating random number okay now button index if if button index is zero then we do nothing because it's basically the cancel option it just uh, uh, you are exited from the action sheet you can perform some action here if you want i'll see if button index is let's say one then this generate number then we will generate a random number set result math dot floor math dot random we need the between zero to hundred and plus one else if button index is two and we reset the result random number so that's pretty much it now let's create a text field let's provide some style to it let's say styles dot result here we display result then we will create a button when we press this button the action sheet will appear on press event we just called on press function title will be so action sheet okay now let me just do some styling for result font size let's say 20 
let me just increase it let's say 60 text align is center let me just save this so again um, we have created a state result in which the initial value is random number the random number will be stored in this result and we have created a, a function called on press and we define action sheet we have created three buttons cancel generate number and reset destructive button index is zero because reset is our destructive button so it will come in red color the cancel button is zero which means the uh, first button it will be separate from the entire group and the title is generate number and we provide the message and if user press on the first one let's zero then nothing will happen because it's basically the cancel and if a user press on the index number one that means generate number then a random number will be generated and assigned to this result state the last one is the uh, reset and we have created a button and a text to show the result so let me just save this and see if it works so it works perfectly now let me just click on this as you can see we have uh, three buttons generate number reset and cancel we have our title and the message so if I click on the cancel, it will simply disappear the action sheet. Let me just click on this again. If I press on generate number, as you can see, it works perfectly fine. We are getting a random number between zero to hundred. Mm. Let's say reset random number. So if I provide let's say destructive button to be let's say one, it, it means generate number and let me save this. So generate number will come in red tint color, which is not right because the destructing button is reset. And this cancel button, let's say I provide one. then the generate number will come into separate group which is also not right we can also provide tint color so the color of the button will change to yellow other than this uh, destructive button it will always be red as you can see let me just reset this so this is how you can use action sheet ios it will be useful if you design app for ios operating system and on a single button on the display you provide multiple options to the users so that's it for this video thanks for watching it